Hey guys, and welcome to the season finale of Let's Play Minecraft. I am John, and this is it. The wrap-up for this season of Let's Play Minecraft. Before the new season starts, uh, there is a lot to talk about today, and I want to go over a few things that we've we've done here on this map and, and all kinds of stuff. But first of all, uh, let me just say thank you all of you who have been here for this whole season and all of the new people who have come along the way. And uh, Season 2 is going to be bigger, better, and more amazing than ever. And uh, yeah, it's just really exciting. But um, alright, so here we are up in Treetopia. And uh, I'm, I'm still proud of this place. I mean, I know I never actually you know, like furnished it or anything like that, but just the look of it to me is pretty awesome. And um it's one of those projects that I was proud of of doing. It it didn't take nearly as long as some of my other projects have in the past. But um I don't know, I just like the feel of it. And uh anyway, let's uh let's drop down here and I will explain a little bit about what's going on. As you saw in that little opening promo reel thing, I did go and get the dragon egg. And I do have a spot to put it. Um, hello, you. <laughs> did, I never named you, did I? Oh, goodness. Why don't I ever name you? Um, Benson. Your name is Benson. Benson the dog. Alright, come with me. So, let us go out here and we will talk about what's going on. As he glitches through everything ever. Um, so yeah. Our ravine outpost. Um, we'll go take a look at the ravine before this, this video is over as well. But uh, as you may recall from the first episode. Of course the first episode for real was actually lost footage. Um, as is usual with me in my series. Um, always having problems. And of course that was my, on my old computer. But... Uh, I came from over there and stumbled across the cave entrance here that led down into the ravine. I was like, I've got to set up base here, and that's what we did. But then I thought we need some sort of living space above ground, too, and that is when I built Treetopia. I was inspired by uh, B00's uh, jungle treetop home that he built, and uh, I decided, you know what, I want to do something like that, but I want the... <laughs> what? Alright, anyway. Then I wanted to have the jungle here and not have to go find it. Of course, I did have to go find it to get this stuff. And this is all legit. Don't worry about that. Every bit of it is legit. Uh, but anyway. And so I made this and then I decided, well, I should have a spot at my spawn point and we should have a road that connects them. And so I started work on this road and underneath this road of course runs the minecart track but uh, we'll look at that in a bit a little cow farm uh, but anyway so of course then we built and I'm purposely walking sideways <laughs> for a reason but I want to say we built the guard tower right over there that is our original spawn point that little rocky area which I thought was very unusual and had that little cluster tree farm thing there next to it um, but the main reason we are going over here right now is because of the dragon egg, which we have right here, and because I have a special spot that I want to place this in commemoration of beating the dragon and concluding season one of Let's Play Minecraft, I built a little bit of a monument right over here and it's not much <laughs> but it was the uh, the experimental idea I had of taking some of the precious blocks I had I was just touching all those to make them sparkle but the redstone ore blocks the iron blocks oh goodness <laughs> don't want you accidentally going into the lava Benson get over here there you go and uh a little bit of glowstone in there, but for now, we will place the dragon egg. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Alright, that is symbolic of the end of this season, right there in itself. Alright. Come on, Benson, come on over here, away from the lava, please. 
And we will head over to the guard tower and I can show you something else. I know one of my viewers, and I never know how to pronounce your name, but I'm going to say it because I always forget to actually say your name. The Shunan, is that how you pronounce it? Because you've been with me for a long time watching my videos and I know that was driving you crazy. That gaping hole where I came up out of the minecart truck. Well, it's gone now because I finished all of this. And let's see. Come come up here, Benson. Come on. <laughs> come on. There you go. Don't. Why are you glitched through the floor? Goodness gracious, this game. All right, stay there. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, so we have the guard tower, which I thought was an interesting design. I was combining mossy cobble. I was using the fence posts, and I was creating what I thought looked like a guard tower, something that you would use to fight off hordes of monsters from, which, of course, never actually happened. But, hey, <laughs> had all of these storage and furnace areas, and then... We have this lovely view over there at our other project. We'll get to it in a second. You can see the dragon egg. Yeah, pretty awesome. Now, what we have here that we didn't have before is one level lower. Although there's not a lot to it. You stay there. And that is the access to our minecart track. It now ends here and then begins again. I was going to have a one of those track swapper things. But I didn't have time to get the tutorial and figure out how to do it and all that kind of stuff. So what we did instead was two separate ones. And it's no big deal. This one goes back to Treetopia. And this one goes to the mayor's house. So let's go ahead and do that. You can check out this new branch of the uh, minecart track. It's a little dark back there. I might have to fix that. <laughs> Don't want monsters spawning in here. But yeah... So I literally don't have like any gold left at all <laughs> for finishing these uh, powered tracks and such. But now we can come up here and voila, I've added some uh, glowstone in here to cut down on the amount of torches and uh, a little bit up there as well. And here it is, the mayor's house, which likewise isn't going to be totally finished with the whole furnishing aspect and all of that but that's never really been my forte making things that look like tables and that sort of a thing I don't really know I just like the look of these things from a distance that's mainly why I do them um, but yeah our upstairs area and our skylight we'll look at it from outside a little bit just another project that I really like the the design of the look of and, uh, yeah, I think it came out really nice. I wanted to keep to the wood and stone combination that the village house has had, except I wanted to use birch and uh, stone bricks instead of cobble and oak. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's that. And then, of course, our village. These guys all hanging out here are iron golems. A lot of the villagers in here. You might recall that I worked pretty hard to clean up this area for these guys. Make sure every house had a door, sometimes multiple doors. I built a couple of houses for them. This is one that I did. You see they're hanging out in here. And I built that little wooden one that was over there. And, yeah, they, they mass populated in that one... one patch where they where they did such things and it got us a few iron golems as well and then the population stayed thankfully because typically when I was over here I did not have it on uh, hard difficulty because I didn't want the zombies killing them knocking down their doors uh, we won't be doing that in the next world we will be staying on hard the whole time but I kind of just like the idea of these guys staying alive because I wanted them to be a part of this series uh, from beginning to end because I found the village in the, in the very first episode. In fact, if I can find it, this house right here is the one that I spent the first couple of nights in. See? My first stuff still here. Ah, oh, the memories. Anyway, so that is pretty much that. Now, Originally I had planned 
for this road to carry on all the way to the um, uh, XP farm over there. But I wasn't going to have time to be able to do that or the resources. So that's an, another unfinished thing, unfortunately, project. Um, <laughs> that sentence made no sense. Unfortunately, unfinished project. How about that? And if we head over here, which would have been either a minecart track or a road or both, whatever. But instead, we're going to have to hoof it. <laughs> but as you can see in the distance, our double dungeon XP farm. Something I'm quite, quite proud of. I was always going to try to do some sort of a tutorial thing or at least show you how I made it, but actually never worked out. I'm not particularly good at tutorials. <laughs> I did do that one skeleton trap thing, which, uh, tutorial, which it was kind of a similar concept. I suppose I could break this open and show you. See there, I put the water currents at the back varying levels and then the skeleton gets pushed and right there we have signs and it causes the water to go up and then it goes up water and signs alternating all the way up there and then falls the perfect distance to have him at a one punch kill the zombies very similar the spawner was in a slightly different place but we have the water currents pushing, they spawn, they go up, and they go up there, as you see. It's pretty simple, although time-consuming and resource-intensive, because I decided I wanted it to be glass. <laughs> and that uh, it meant a great big old giant hole over here, where I got some sand, and then in another place, too. Anyway, yeah, there was our jungle where I scavenged for saplings and logs and leaves and vines to make Treetopia. But yeah. Isn't always one punch kill, but usually. <laughs> yeah, a couple punches, but whatever. <laughs> I had planned on, too, doing, um... Uh, what is it? Uh, right. Potions I was going to have handy to throw on them and make that a lot quicker. Anyway, oh yeah. You might notice too, my XP levels from the end are back. It was a weird glitch, but when I logged out and then logged back in, the XP levels were back. So I didn't lose them after all, so that's good. We should actually enchant something with it just to be symbolic, right? <laughs> um. Hmm. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's That's all there is to see here. Uh, this is where I would stay when I was grinding. Um, so yeah, let me head back on over this way. Okay, so while we ride the minecart track, there's a couple things I want to explain about what's ahead. Now, I will not be starting Season 2 until after the Halloween update comes out. 1.4 with all the new stuff that's going to be coming along. So you might ask... Um, what am I going to do in the meantime? Am I not going to be putting up Minecraft, etc., etc.? Well, first of all, I will say, if you are not getting enough Minecraft on this channel, uh, definitely go check out Minecraft John, my second channel, which is just Minecraft like crazy. <laughs> but, anyway, um, yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, derp. I always lose my train of thought. Anyway. So, what am I going to be doing on this channel uh, during this time slot until 1.4 comes out? I've given it a lot of thought, and I've decided that I'm going to finally, after all this time, do that Hardcore Nomad series that I always wanted to do. And it will run until uh, 1.4 comes out. And, uh, yeah, that should be pretty exciting. Basically, I'll be making a, a Hardcore Mode world, which means if I die, the world is deleted. So I can't die. <laughs> and I will be traveling. That's the whole point of the nomad aspect. I will be traveling far and wide, never staying in one place for very long. Not building houses or anything like that. Just trying to survive in the wild for as long as I can. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think you guys will enjoy it as well. 
Uh, let's enchant something. What the heck? Let's make... I never made any th diamond armor. So... Yeah, I might actually want to make it first. Alright. Let's see. Let's make... This... And I think I have enough to make it all. I don't have enough levels to enchant it all. But it's sort of significant to always have diamond armor to prove that you've done all you can. So, I say we put 30s on uh, two things and then split the difference on the rest. So, shoes, let's put 30. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yes. Protection 3, feather falling 4, awesome. And, helmet. Fire protection 4, well that's kind of a ripoff, but okay. We need to cover up some of these to get lower level stuff. I want 9. Can I get 9 on this? I do apologize if my sinuses are acting up. They are acting up, but and it's affecting my voice. Anyway, 9 fire protection 1. Ah, come on. Alright, another 9 please. Blast protection 1. Well, okay. A couple of rip-offs there, I have to say, but it's alright. Let's kid ourselves out. Boom. Diamond armor. That's what I'm talking about. We have our unbreaking 3, efficiency 4 pick. Fortune 3, unbreaking 3 pick. Efficiency 2, silk touch 1 pick. This shovel is insanely good. Efficiency 4, I mean it just blows through the dirt. And our sharpness 4, looting 3 sword, which is amazing. And this, this bow is just unreal. Power 4, Flame 1, Infinity 1, Punch 2. So, yeah. Pretty happy with all of that stuff. And uh, let's um, put what's left of our diamonds in here. Put our other armor in here. Stuff I don't need to carry around. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah. So, we'll be doing Hardcore Nomad. Um, oh, yeah. This was the first spawner I found, and I made a, a trap here. It was a spider spawner. It was one of the poorest made traps of all time. <laughs> but uh, I did get some levels out of it from time to time. Um, my nether portal, my potion uh, area here. did have a few potions that I never really used. Um, this was going to be my automatic wheat farm. I didn't make it found a cave over there I never explored. I do feel bad that I, I've, I'm leaving some stuff unfinished, but at the same time, I do feel like I need the change. I need the updated world and all that stuff. And so when 1.4 comes around, we're going we're gonna to have a blast now. You might recall, here's the ravine that we found originally. And uh, I made this little viewing area, and there's still quite a bit of this to explore as well. Uh... <laughs> I love doing that. Um, and I found quite a few diamonds down here. Probably, all told, probably at least a stack of diamonds. Um, went tunneling down this way and found a bunch of them. That sort of thing. Never finished, as I said, exploring all the dark areas. There was like a mine shaft. There was all kinds of stuff that we didn't quite get to. I'm going to explore a little bit of it right now as I talk. But again, I just want to thank everyone. See, there's the mine shaft. Sorry. I want to thank everybody who's who's stuck with me through the bad computer, through the <laughs> all the poor quality stuff I had when I started this, uh, through to now with my new computer, the better quality videos, and in my opinion, better quality commentary. I continue to, to learn as I go. And, uh, ow. Be inspired by the people that I watch. Um, and many of them I have uh, mentioned before. B00, Etho. Um, 
Avidya. Just a lot of a lot of cool people. Been a real inspiration. Paul Soares Jr. as well. Um, and again, the people who have uh, hung in there and uh, and watched and liked and favorited and all that stuff. I really appreciate that. Um, gold. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah. As you can see, still quite a bit of this to explore. And something that I'm planning on trying to do, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to do it yet, but I'm going to try. And that is putting this world up for download when Season 2 starts. Not at this video, but hopefully in the description. Sorry about that. Hopefully in the description of the first episode of season two I will have the download link to this world so that you guys can uh, finish exploring it and maybe build that desert pyramid I was going to build out by the double dungeon XP farm and finish the minecart track out to that and you know do what you want to do explore and find stuff that I never found and uh, all that sort of stuff I think uh, I think some of you guys would enjoy that and I'd be glad to to hear what you found as well. Um, and if you wanted to, like, say you put up Minecraft videos, if you wanted to do a video where you're like, let's visit John's world, and you p and you put up a video of you exploring around here and, and stuff, that would be really cool too. Um, okay, so other things I wanted to say. Uh, mentioning my other channel, Minecraft John, which I often do, um, I will be doing some mod series on there but I, I'm not going to be doing that on this channel as I said I'm going to do Hardcore Nomad and then another season of Vanilla Let's Play with no mods anything like that uh, but I will be doing some mod experiments over there and I'm hoping to also when 1.4 comes out do a series on the Wolfstone mod which uh, as you may guess was actually named after me amazingly uh, whoops <laughs> oh Hello, Porky. How you doing? Uh, but anyway, oh, I forgot I have to go back and get Benson from the uh, guard tower. <laughs> Look at all these books I've made because I was thinking it's gonna be so hard to make books <laughs> um, with having to need leather and all that. So I made a whole bunch of them. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, Jbon98, aka Gellick Man. Uh, is one of the guys who he created the idea of the Wolfstone mod, and he's working on it with another guy. And um, what am I doing? I gotta go to the guard tower. <laughs> anyway, and did I leave the cart here? Yes, I did. Anyway, and yes, it was it was named in honor of me, and it has a lot of amazing stuff added to the game through it. <laughs> And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the whole new version of it and doing a series of that. That will be over on Minecraft John when it comes out. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty exciting. Okay, I kind of glitched through the wall there. Um, but yeah, that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, also going to be trying to do a series with a couple of guys from the Devious Coopers, which I think is going to be cool. Um... If you don't know who that is, that's a channel that I'd make videos for, and a couple of the guys on there have gotten into Minecraft, and so we're going to try to do that. Um, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what else, what else? Um, also on that channel, uh, Minecraft John, I'm doing John and Justin versus Minecraft, my buddy Ale Messenger, which is going to be a lot of fun, that series. Uh, it's definitely random and goofy, and we're not very good at what we do, but we do it anyway. <laughs> Benson, why do you keep glitching through everything ever? Goodness. All right, anyway. Here. Make you feel better. Kill a sheep. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Silly dog. Anyway, um, so yeah, that that's a lot of stuff that's going on. Season two will be starting after the Halloween update comes out for Minecraft 1.4. It's gonna be awesome. Did I just one shot that skeleton?
Oh, no, I didn't. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought, wow, that this bow is amazing. Anyway, yeah. So, that's uh, that's all coming uh, up ahead. I hope you've enjoyed this this tour of the world. <laughs> Doc M77 style world tour here. Um, season 1 is over. We may revisit the world later on as a sort of... Uh, you know, special video, kind of like I did with my old World 1 that time. Uh, and, um, yeah, who knows, we might, and where am I? Got turned around entirely, need the entrance, here we go. And, so we may not be gone from this world forever, but definitely for a while. Um, it's kind of bittersweet, because as I said, I haven't finished everything here. And, uh, I do wish I had been able to do that. Benson, are you going to teleport to me or what? <sighs> oh, there you are. Okay. Don't glitch through the floor. Get over there. <laughs> here. Over here. There you go. Alright, anyway. um, So, yeah, that's all for this. Again, I am John. This is Let's Play Minecraft Season 1 Finale. I will see you guys next time for some hardcore mode for more. Bye! Woof. <laughs>